After the Ubuntu gaming benchmarking, let's do some Arch-based comparison. In this video, I'll compare three of the most famous Arch-based distributions, Garuda, Manjaro, and Endeavor OS. If you're brave enough to use Arch-based Linux for gaming, then I'll assume you know some basics about Arch. I'll be using all the applications installed from either the native repo or the AUR repo. Let's start with Garuda. After installing the system, I can't boot into the desktop. It gave me a black screen after the first reboot. I had to add the kernel option mentioned in the Arch Wiki here to make it work. Also, because my laptop comes with AMD and NVIDIA dual GPUs, only Novo 1 is needed here. Adding the other two will block the system boot into the desktop. Later I found out this is because even though the installer was using the proprietary driver to run, it didn't actually install the driver to the system. By following the Arch Wiki, I installed the DKMS version driver. When following the wiki, I found the lib32 repo is enabled by default in Garuda, which makes sense as Steam is installed out of the box. After the reboot, I can see the NVIDIA encoder available in the OBS settings, and I can use the NVIDIA SMI command to see the GPU info. As the best gaming distribution I've tested on this channel, Garuda Linux has Steam, Bottles, Mango Hut all ready to go. I just imported my old bottle backup, added the Mango Hut command, and started Red Dead Redemption 2. But the game was not able to launch, which reminded me of the same issue in my Ubuntu based video. So I installed the WLAN desktop session. Then I can see the game starting properly. It's benchmark time. With RDR2, I got 24.5 for the 0.1% low, 32.3 for the 1% low, 48.2 for the average, and 63.9 for the 97% high. Then it's time to get Assassin's Creed working in Steam. Be careful that the default Proton version in Garuda is not the one from Valve. I was getting this weird error saying unrecognized arguments you play Steam mode and fixed it by changing the Proton version in Steam to the Proton Experimental. With the correct Mango HUD setup, I was getting 23, 46.1 as the 0.1 and 1% low, 62.9 as the average, and 89.4 as the 97% high. Now let's install Manjaro. It doesn't have the black screen issue right out of box. Because unlike Garuda Linux, the NVIDIA driver is installed by default if the user selects the proprietary driver from the installation USB. However, there is no handhold setup system this time. Everything is done during the installation. There is also no Steam, Bottles, or Mango Hut installed. I had to set them up myself. Steam, Mango Hut from the default repo and bottles from AUR. Good thing is that Manjaro's PAMAC is pretty easy to use and bottles only took less than two minutes to build. Another good news is that Wayland is coming with the system and enabled by default. It looks like Manjaro and Garuda are head to head when it comes to easy to set up, but the issue comes when I try to launch Red Dead Redemption 2 in bottles. The game wouldn't launch with neither Wayland or X11. I opened up the hardware configuration and found out the system comes with a hybrid driver by default. I uninstalled that one and installed the one that says Video and Video below. Reboot, now it gave the black screen like Garuda. But adding Novo.moset equals to zero in the grub has no effect whatsoever this time. I tried several other options without able to boot into the desktop. Several hours passed. I reinstalled the whole system, built the bottles again, tried out the command of prime run, still no luck. At that point, I was still suspecting the NVIDIA driver installed by the system, 
but seeing OBS Studio was able to pick up the NVIDIA encoder and Arch Wiki suggesting the use of Flatpak, I decided to pivot. Flatpak didn't work. Long story short, after trying out several distributions, I suspected it was my GPU's issue because even bottles in Gruda stopped working then. So I installed Windows and find out my laptop is still fine. After a day has passed, I finally find that if I added the Vulkan 1 as the native DLL override in the bottle setting, it worked. <sighs> now let's get back to benchmark. In bottles, the Red Dead Redemption 2 gave me 24.4 low, 32.31% low, 48.9 average and 65 FPS as the 97% high. In Steam, the Proton version in Manjaro is default to the Proton Experimental version. And Assassin's Creed somehow only worked in X11 and it gave me 20.2 low. 48.71% low, 76.9 average, and 95.5-97% high. Last but not least, it is time to switch over to Endeavor OS. Like the other two, this distribution has an option to launch the installer with the latest NVIDIA driver. And to keep the test consistent, I chose Plasma KDE as the desktop environment during the installation. Like Garuda Linux, I had to install Wayland separately. And like Manjaro, I had to install Steam, Bottles, and Mango Hot separately. Which means, setup-wise, Manjaro comes first, then it is Garuda. Endeavor goes third as it is designed to be a vanilla approach to Arch-based Linux. I still need to add Vulkan in the DLL override to start the game RDR2. It gave me 25.7, 0.1% low, 30.91% low, 46.6 average, and 63.4, 97% high. With Assassin's Creed Origin, I got 25.9, 0.1% low, 42.1, 1% .1 low, 67.5 average, and 85.6, 97% high. Now, with all these numbers, we can see that Manjaro has a slight advantage over Garuda, which can almost be ignored. Endeavor OS can keep up with the other two distributions in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it has a lower score in Assassin's Creed. If you just want to gain, Manjaro is still the king. It has the easiest setup process and the best performance. Then it is Garuda which has all the gaming related applications out of the box. But if you want to learn how to use an Arch distribution, Endeavor OS is a good system for beginners to start. Finally, I want to mention that after using Garuda, I decided to replace my daily driver on the external USB because it is just too easy to set up for gaming. It had everything installed out of the box, and I love how little time it took me to start Benchmark. During this second time installing, the setup assistant fired up automatically after I added the correct kernel option in the grub. I followed the instructions to install NVIDIA and update the system this time without having to do any extra work manually. So I can say, it is not any harder than Manjaro to set up. Another conclusion I had is that a lot of people say that you need to bear the consequences if you decide to go with Arch because living on the edge is dangerous. When making this video, I had a new perspective. After seeing the Flatpak version bottles not working, I tried install back the Ubuntu which I tested in the last video. It gave me the same error for the RDR2, which means it wasn't an Arch-based cutting-edge issue. It made me go all the way back to Windows to figure out that my hardware is still working. And keep in mind, Manjaro is not using the cutting-edge Arch repository. It has its own repository to make sure the system is stable. Garuda also uses 
packages from chaotic AOR by default, which also targeting better stability. And these two distributions are having the same issue with the nearly pure Arch-based Endeavor OS, along with Ubuntu. Meaning, as long as you are a gamer on Linux, you will always have to learn new things to maintain all your games to work. At least, this is my finding after making this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.